Hey, welcome back. You're not sick of it yet, right? Time Spiral Remastered. You have not seen enough of these toothface spike mullet having bad boys pulled, have you? Have you? YouTube, what's going on today? I hope you guys are doing well out there. Thanks for dropping by Grim Entertainment. I want to thank you guys for leaving the likes and leaving the comments. But 40% of you watching right now aren't subscribed. 40% of you aren't subscribed. Yeah, you. So just do me a favor. Go down in the corner and just give that red subscribe button one little touch. Just one. Nope, that was two. Nope, now, now you got to do a third one. Nope, just one touch. Uh, helps me out, lets you know that you enjoy my content, and lets you know when I drop new content. Anyways, Time Spiral Remastered, we got a box. I'm calling it, we're going to get a Tarmogoyf, a Thoughtseize, and a Foil Time Shifted Eternal Witness. It's a bold prediction, but I made it. Let's crack into this damn box, I've been waiting long enough. Oh, I have been watching some people open. I've been watching a lot of you guys open, actually. Um, I'm ready, I'm ready. Give me the big hits. Let's see them. Ooh! Watch that long, I watched as much as I could of that long Kraken Pax live stream. He hit some absolute insanity. I love these cards. I thought this puke green was going to look nasty in person. Oh, it looks dope, actually. I super like it. Super like? What do you mean? Yeah, I said super like it. Uh, yeah. I was watching Card with Michael's live streams, too. Man, these guys are opening crazy good polls. All the rest of you content creators, part of those two groups... Getting to your stuff too, watching you guys open. I actually caught DJ Longhair's stream for once. That was nice. Uh, we went pack one out of the left side, just in case you were wondering. How's the how's the light there? A little too much? Let's turn it down a little bit. There we go. There we go. All right. Uh, you know, the commons and stuff, I feel like you guys have watched enough. You've seen it. We don't really need to see them. I'm just kind of rolling through them because this is the first pack that I've opened to this. Outrider and Core. Dread Return, Henchfiend of Ukor, and a Joyra right out of the gate. All right. With a Dismember. Oh, I'm dope. I'm dope. What? Jesus. I'm stoked <laughs> to have these in the old frame. <laughs> All right. Uh, man, I am a dope. I'll tell you that. Pack two. These open funny. None of you guys mentioned that? You were open these? I didn't hear one person say that they opened strange. The glue feels weird. So, I was not around Magic when this set first dropped. I took a break from whatever the hell it was all the way up until Zendikar. I want to say, like, Planar K. Oh, Pact Negation, baby! Pack 2. These are awesome. Read the Bones. All right, let me hold on. We gotta we gotta adjust the way we're doing this. These piles are ugly. Pack negation. That's a good hit. Then we got reflex sliver for our first foil and a goblin. Um, yeah, I took I took a long break from like two thousand what two until like two thousand nine or eight, whenever Zendikar came out. And uh, so these these are this is my first time actually opening cards from this era. Um, I looked at some of the sets, but I kind of wanted to be like everybody else. I kind of wanted to be surprised and see what's going on in there. I recognize a lot of the cards, but uh, not sure what a lot of them do right off the bat. Might of Old Croza, Salt Crusted Step. All right. And a Reiterate with Alicia Who Smiles at Death for our Time Shifted. Should I just put the Time Shifted up there? I don't, I don't even know. Let's just let's put them up there. I don't even know. Oh, man. I wasn't as hyped for this set as I thought I was going to be. And then once it came out, I, I went all fucking Timmy like everybody else. And uh, that's that's how I'm at. Uh, Terramorphic Expanse. Cloud Seeder. That's where I'm at on that. Lost Ormancers. Extirpate. Split second, choose target card to graveyard, and basic lance or summoner graveyard. Okay, well, that doesn't do schnit for EDH. Cranial plating, though. Cloud sprite? All right. That pact negation was definitely the hit so far. 
Oh, man, these time-shifted cards in foil, too, man. You guys seen the prices of those? I know you have, because everyone's talking about it. Are they going to drop? I heard it's crazy, ridiculous Pokemon-style pull rates on the foils. It's like 1 in 3,000 packs or some craziness like that. Or is this factory? Ancestral Vision. Oh. As a mythic, too. Wow. That's sick. Mythic number one. Ooh, with a Mystic Confluence right behind it. Those do look cool in the old border. I'm not going to lie. They do. Left side so far being pretty nice to us. I also really like that they did these 36 packs. That's kind of nice. I thought it was going to be 24 for sure. But Haze of Rage. Minion Murmurs. Tromp the Domains. And a Venzer. The Vampire Hex Mage. Ooh, that looks cool in the old border as well. The Minion. What am I doing here? Minions Murmurs. Wrong. Foils. <laughs> Another 36 pack box, you guys. Uh, as I'm opening Time Spot Remastered on opening weekend, uh, is it too soon to talk about Strixhaven? Like, I feel like it's, it's already on my back. I haven't even finished opening. The cards I just got from the set that came out yesterday. But I feel like Strixhaven's coming up quick. Time Bender. Magus of the Moon in that different artwork. I don't know. Is this original or is this this is not the one from uh Iconic? I think it's iconic. Repeal. Alright. And a knight token. Let's slide these up. What about you guys? You guys think Time Spire remastered over Strixhaven? Did you guys take that bet? Or are you waiting for Strixhaven? I'm really the the like school style pre-release kits that are only they're like two color and specific to that school. I don't know how that's gonna go over. What, what if they like release some crazy card that's only you know you know that pre-release kit's gonna be the one that sells out in like ten minutes. Fungal reaches. Uh, where's it reaching? That's where it all depends. Angel's grace. All right, with Dobin's veto and a cutthroat. It'll doll. You know, like, like say, like, Ravnica, if, if Hydroid Crisis was in the blue and green one, obviously the Simic one's going to sell out quicker, right? I'm just hoping that doesn't happen with, uh, with Strixhaven. Anyways, Time Spiral Remaster is what we got in my hands. Why are you talking about Strixhaven? Because I love all things magic, and I'm scatterbrained as shit. Skittery Monstrosity. Calciform Pools. <sighs> Pack to the Titan. All right. A Hedron Archive. Damn, dude. They put some hits in that time spot. Holy cow. I know it's probably not worth much, but Hedron Archive's a good card. Okay. I was listening to somebody in their tent. I think it was MTG Peddler. He was talking about how he was counting the, counting the comments at the beginning and cheating. And I, I try to do that, but it just confuses me more than anything. Oh, Urborg. I wanted you. I can't wait to use this in Jaleva. Uh, it, oh, man, that's a good card. Man, that's a rare. And a ley line behind it. Dude, these packs. Wow. All right. Left stack, too, you guys. Speaking of Peddler, a fellow believer that the left stack is better. <laughs> oh, man. These packs are insane. Crozen Grip. Crozen Grip. Salt Blast. There's a bunch of salt and calcium going on. Like, is Time Spiral? Like, Singir Nosferatu. Nikto. <laughs> Consuming Aberration. All right. Assembly Worker. I cannot wait to tally up the value on this because I honestly have no idea what some of these cards are worth. I just know that I get consuming aberration a lot in my playgroup these days, so it's got to be some, you know, even if it's only like three, four bucks, it's still an extra three or four dollar card in the pack. Wipe away. Lightning axe. A keen sense. A Sarah Avenger. That's old school. The Mystic Sanctuary. All right. That looks awesome to me. I cannot lie. That's a really cool looking I think that's from Throne if I'm not mistaken um that metallic sliver token ugh yuck let's 
go with the middle stack now. Just touching on that again though, like, you know, Time Spiral just came out. It's been 24 hours. Strixhaven comes out in like less than a month, right? And then what? We got like Modern Horizons 2 in June? And then a D&D &D set? And then two Innistrad sets? Come on, I'm drowning. I am drowning in magic. <laughs> no one makes me buy it, but Kervik the Merciless does. Uh, Abrupt Decay, dude. Wow. <laughs> this time shifted slot, man. Uh, you know, nobody makes me buy it, but I'm a, I'm a collector and a, and a player of the game, you know? I love the game. It gives me FOMO like crazy. I hate it. Slow down. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Stone Cloaker. Skittering Monstrosity. Clockwork Hydra. Attacks or blocks. Remove a counter. Deals a damage to any target. Okay, put them. That's weird. That's a strange one. Ooh, Miri the Curse, the old four drop vampire cat. Glad I didn't spend money on you for the vampire deck, because I bet you you're tanking now. They wanted like 25 bucks for this at one point when I was looking for it for the Ed, uh, Edgar Markov deck. Foreshadowing, next deck wreck. Uh, yeah, I mean, flying first strike haste. Oh, my bad. Revealed the Zulaport Cutthroat. But Vampire Cat. I don't know if there's any other ones. <laughs> Alright, we gotta speed it up a little bit. I don't want this video to be too long. I'm having a good time though. I like to open the freaking first box and Avon Mind Sensor, that card's rude. Just kinda enjoy it, you know. Nether Trader. Time of need. Alright. You know what I need? I need to see a damn foil time shifted card. Sounds greedy to say that, though, doesn't it? Lost Oromancers. Whipspine Drake. Sudden Death. Sudden Spoiling, yes. And Exquisite Firecraft. The Land of War Elves. Next pack. Yeah, sudden Death into Sudden Spoiling. I feel like I've heard that a few times with other people opening, so it seems like those are going to be the Manamorphose and... Uh... Oh, God, what came after? It was Manamorphose... And the artifact that uh, was free. Mm. I'm trying to think of it. It's going to bother me. Came in uh, double masters together constantly. Magus of the Future. Eternal Witness. Oh, I want you in foil so bad. All right. Cloud Cedar. And an ape. All right. Oh, come on. What is it? it used to be like a $9 card in Iconic. And then it got reprinted a bunch of times. Mystery Boosters as well. Oh, that's going to drive me nuts. You guys know it. Put it in the comments, please. I'm going to be thinking about that for the rest of the day till I figure it out. <laughs> Careful consideration. Dark Heart Sliver. Cloud Key. All right. Artifact, Creature, Enchantment, Instant and Sorcery Spells. You can't... Oh, man, that's nice. Okay. Ooh, the Harvester Souls. I'm glad I didn't get you in foil. That's a weak one. But I would like a foil, guys. Anytime. We're halfway through this box, right? Oh, that eludes me and it drives me nuts. I'm dying inside. <laughs> this is Salt Blast. Kerr Keep, huh? Ooh, creating kobolds. The Talran Sky Summoner. And a Safi Eric's Daughter. Oop, why did I put that over there? <laughs> Safi Eric's Daughter for a foil rare for the box there. Alright. Mishra's Bobble. Oh, that was driving me nuts. Yeah, so. The sudden death into sudden spoiling is very reminiscent of Metamorphose into Mishra's Bobble. Reaching up into my fungus again, huh? Alright. Wipe away. A lightning axe. Into a sedge sliver. The Tide Hollow Sculler. And a metallic sliver. Tide Hollow Sculler. Not even sure what that does. All right, we got Might Sliver, Prodigal Pyromancer. All right, 
the excellent Jailer. Oh, we hit the Tarmogoyf. There's number one. Oh, there's number one. Prediction. Oh, that's my first ever Tarmogoyf, you guys. It had to come out of Time Spiral Remastered. Holy hell. Look at the art on that one. That one's weird, too. I'm going to set this down. Oh, look at you. Yes. All right. Ancestral Vision's cool, too. But... Oh, and then we got freaking Rudy's brother over here. Oh, man. The Tarmogoyf hit, though. That's nice. That's a good hit. Good to see it. Oh, what was the other one? Oh, yeah, Thoughtseize. We've got to hit. I call the Thoughtseize and a Foil Eternal Witness. Wouldn't that be nuts if I hit those? I'm not gonna, but damn, wouldn't that be cool? You guys think I have freaking futuristic powers. <laughs> Rebuff the Wicked. There's a non foil Safi, the Rakdos Charm, and a Sapperling. We've got two left in that middle stack. Um, you guys playing any spell table yet? I'm going to be doing a live stream soon. Probably tomorrow, I think. Or well, actually, not tomorrow. Tomorrow we're doing a live stream as well. That's Sunday. Uh, Shannon, my fiance, actually bought a box to uh, support the, the whole... I was doing Rip and Ship, and then I, it sounds like I'm stepping on Matt. I didn't realize. So I'm going to call him uh, like Break and Bake Sales or bake sa or Break Sales. Uh, Rada, Erdic, Erd, uh, Erdic Held, excuse me, the Beast Whisperer, and a Memory Blink. Um, but I want to play some Spell Table, too. We haven't, we're not doing cards tonight for Commander uh, Night. We canceled it for a Saturday. So I kind of want to get on and uh, and do some spell table. Hopefully some of you guys are there. I'll just go live tonight later and see if we can't put some games together. It'll be awesome. Now that I have my audio and everything fixed, it shouldn't be a big deal, right? <laughs> oh, Harmonic Sliver and Angel of Salvation. And Ancient Stirrings. Okay. Okay. So this right side... We're counting on the right side to be the bright side. Give me that time-shifted foil. Because, uh... Oh, this this card. Nope, not, not as bad as I thought it was. We need a time-shifted foil, period. There is no cuz. There's just... We want one. Everybody should get one if you open a box. Arcblade. I know that's not the real stats, but... Whoop! Draining Welk. All right. There's a Mold Drifter. Sliding them on up. Muldriftus. Cloud Sprite. Alrighty. Drifter Ildal. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I think I might see one. I don't know. Don't. Don't even. There's definitely a foil, though. Necrotic Sliver. The Phantom Worm. Pongify. That card's great. Undervalued. Ooh, another Angel's Grace. A little bit of duplication. All right. And then Containment Priest. Okay. With a Chromatic Star Foil with different art. That's cool. Containment Priest, huh? They're just printing the living hell out of you, aren't they? To Oblivion! And beyond? No? Totally mixing up storylines there? All right. Whatever. Um, next pack is open. I keep making the common stack too tall. All right. Calciderm. Dude, what's with the calcium and salt in all of the freaking cards? Vesuvian Shapeshifter. All right. Everflowing Chalice. That's cool. The Chalice with a spider behind it. Uh, what do you guys think? Are we hitting a foil? <laughs> Place your bets. It's looking grim. Uh, Might of Old Croza. Salt Crust again. Thick Skin Goblin. Okay, I thought that was a miscut. I was about to be super stoked. With Boom and Bust. Boom or Bust? Destroy target land you don't... Or you control and target land you don't. Or destroy all lands for five. Ugh. You know, I could do without some of these split cards, you know? Ooh, Silence. That's uh, that's worth a pretty penny in foil. Ooh, we got a Thelon of Havenwood. Oh, this is the old Thelon Musk card Matt was talking about. It's an Elvis thing that does Fungus. Oh, okay. Well, that looks like a Jeff card. Jeff runs a slime foot deck in my group, so he might be enjoying that. Speaking of, if I pulled the slime foot stowaway, Jeff, that's all yours. In uh, the time-shifted border. 
All right, we got Fire Maw Kavu, Stronghold Rats with the Griffin Guide, the Beefy Gargadon, Lilia's, Liliana's Triumph, excuse me, and Alanamore Elves. Okay. Okay. Uh, I feel like we're due some, some more Mythics. Don't you get like four or five per box usually? Is this going to be one of the most dud boxes on YouTube? I mean, it's not dud, don't get me wrong. I got a freaking Tarmogoyf, but... I, I'm pretty sure the average is four to five Mythics in a box, right? Or am I completely off? Summoner's Pact. Hey, that's not bad. The Blighted Woodland. That's the, the very... I think that's one of the very worst you can get in foil. Spinneret Sliver. Um, with a Kobold token. All right. We got six left, you guys. Uh, at this point, I'm not... I'm, I'm not saying it's not going to happen, but I am losing some faith. <laughs> Got to tell you guys how I really feel. Night of the Holy Nimbus. That sounds like... Ooh, that smallpox looks good, though. Ooh. Yeah. I'm the smallpox guy. Thelonite Hermit. Okay. With a Ninja of the Deep Hours and a Night Token. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, so like I was saying, Shannon bought a box of Time Spiral. Actually, she bought two. She wants to hold on to one uh, and see if it, it, if it retains any value before we get married and if she can like sell it to do something later. And then uh, she wanted to do one of the break and bake sales or, you know, break and bakes. The Elon of Havenwood again. Okay. Uh, Burrell, Chief of Compliance. So we're going to do that. If you're watching this today, Saturday, the day that it comes out, we're going to be doing that tomorrow. Um, and she has no attachment to the cards. She just is going to start learning how to play Magic, and she wants to see how it goes. And she's kind of trying to nudge me into doing the whole uh, having having boxes and then selling them to buy more boxes. And I'm, I'm down for that because i got to quit spending so much cash. <laughs> we got a wedding to pay for, so i got to start making the cards pay for more cards. Aeon Chronicler with a Feather the Redeemed and a Sapperling. All right, we got we got like three packs left, you guys, and this isn't this isn't the feel goods right now. Uh, it's not the feel goods. This is this is I'm I'm happy about the Tarmogoyf, but I feel like we've been getting kind of douched. Dread Return, ah, right when you complain. You pull a Vesuva. This card was so expensive, and I've been on it for so long. And then we get the Solemn. And an Assembly Worker. Yes. Saving the box with a Vesuva. Not saving the box, but making me feel better about it. <laughs> um, how do you guys think about these? You think they're going to age well? I do. I really hope that they did a small print run like they said they do, and these cards retain value and whatnot. Might be a little biased since Shannon's putting some of her money into it. Benalish Commander, huh? The Lavinia. Oh, I put a Solemn in the wrong spot because I know he's a rare. And a Goblin. Okay. Okay, here's the deal. We don't have a single, a single foil. Please be in here, for the love of God. <laughs> it feels heavy. It feels heavy. I'm not going to lie. But that doesn't mean that I'm right. <laughs> Fire Wake Sliver. Lana War Mentor. Time Bender. <laughs> Coalition Relic. That's not bad. That's not a bad one. What do we got? It's not foil. Thraven Inspector. It's not foil. All right. But oh, we did have a foil, but it's not a time shifted. So no time shifted foils in that box. I get to be that guy. Okay, see, and this, mm, mm, this is not a good intro to the set. Time spiral, you're going to be, put you in the doghouse. That's the, that's the box, guys. I still had fun. That was a great box. Vesuva, Tarmogoyf, and Ancestral Vision. We got a ton of good rares. I got that Ley Line and some other good stuff in the, in the slot. I, I'm, I'm curious to put the, to value up here and see what actually went down. Um, the next one will probably be a little faster. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Really do appreciate it when you guys do that. Um, that's the, that's the box. So thanks for watching. Iconic masters went up 30 bucks this week. Wow. What about M25? Nope.
still 195 bucks. 